Hello there, you're watching Dansky, the place to be to develop your creative skills and grow as a designer. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to change skin color in Adobe Photoshop. Okay, so to start with, I've opened up my photo of a female elf into Photoshop. And if we go to the layers palette, we can create a new adjustment layer and select hue and saturation. And if you tick the colorize box and just increase the saturation up to about 80 and then select any color. Something really bold like a blue here. It doesn't really matter what color we pick at this stage because we can change that later on. Next, make sure that you have black selected as your foreground color and select the fill tool and just left click on the image. Make sure that you have the mask selected and then press X to swap your foreground and background color. Select the brush tool and select a nice soft feathered brush. So if you left click now, painting white into the black mask, you'll see that it will apply the hue and saturation effect that we've hidden. So when doing this, you can use the left and right square brackets to decrease or increase the size of your brush. And we're just going to gently paint in over all of the skin. Things like hair and eyebrows, you can get away with a little bit more if they're darker. Features like eyes and lips and any teeth, make sure that you don't paint over those. So just focus on the skin, zoom in as much as you need to. And we're just painting in over all of the skin. We've got our brush opacity at 100%. And with the color being nice and bold, so we've gone from a very we've gone for a very bright and vibrant blue here. It means that we can clearly see which parts of the image we've painted in and which parts we haven't. So again, just reduce that brush size just to work on some of these finer details here, just going around the edge of the eye. And you can zoom in nice and close and then increase the size of the brush for the larger areas. And we're just going to go around the lips now. And down the side of the cheek. So once you've cut out the main part of the lips, so you can see this bit here, once that's mostly done, it's a lot easier and you can just increase the size of your brush and then just fill in these big areas of skin. So areas like the neck, nice and easy. You can really just increase the size of the brush and just quickly brush over these areas. And all these dark hairs, we can get away mostly with just painting over them. So those big areas there. And then I'm just going to zoom in. And remember, use these square left and right brackets to adjust the size of your brush nice and quickly. And we can just go around a few of the details here. So we've got these plants here. So I'm just quickly just going around the edge, making sure that I'm only painting the skin. Okay, so I'm just going to speed through painting in the rest of the image now. Okay, so once you've painted in over all of the skin areas, you should now have a very bright, bold image. And what we can do is we can double click on the symbol here for the hue and saturation layer. We can go back into the properties and we can decrease that saturation. So it can blend into the image a lot more, whereas something like this is very, very bold. If that's the effect you're going for, great. If you'd like it to blend into a photograph, you can bring that saturation down and it just blends in a little bit more seamlessly. And you can also adjust the hue. So we started off with a blue and we can move towards a little bit more of a turquoise. 
So something like this is very similar to Night Elves off Warcraft, for example. But it depends entirely what kind of effect you're going for. And you can also reduce the opacity down slightly. And you can set the blending mode to color. So just adjust the opacity, adjust the saturation until you get something that you're happy with. And there we go, that's how you change skin color in Adobe Photoshop. As always guys, please feel free to leave any questions or comments below. Like this video if you enjoyed it, take care and I'll see you next time.